Hi everyone, in this third lesson of a view we will explain the plant editor. So I'll go file a new and I will go here and press this button to create plan or I can go to object create plant or from plant species to open the selection window that we can choose preset plant from it but I will press plant here so now we have the plant double click on that plant to open the plant editor this is also a very easy editor and self-explanatory as you go to the parameters here and change them you will understand all the editor very very easily you can here create a new plant you can save your current plant you can make it response to the wind of course we have wind in the view a global wind that can be edited inside the atmosphere editor here here are the parameters for the wind okay let's go back to the the plant editor and here you can load plant species from the selection window by pressing this button and you can just select a plant species from the presets here Aqua uh, aquatic bushes flowers grasses prehistoric CIFI trees anything you want and if you select that plant you just press OK it will be loaded in the plant editor and you can edit that plant okay let's make it more exciting let's let's load this type of plant for example there we go it is exactly like the um, the terrain editor you can the preview window can easily be rotated and you have free camera that you can rotate it using the right mouse button you can zoom in and zoom out here as you can see we have uh, the subsets for your for your plant you can choose trunk subset for example you see parameters for that subset you can choose Tim subset and you will see the parameters for that subset or you can edit all the subsets at once change the link fall off the narrow diameter group and the angle of the tree Again, let's load another plant, something like tree. Let's load this for example. And let's see how we can change the length of the tree. Fall off. The NAR. diameter you can do the same you can go to all the parameters here change them and you will see exactly the effect of that parameter you will understand easily uh, the plant editor the group like dead tree or very old tree and the angle of the tree and as you can see here you can edit all the information for the shape of your tree and here you can edit the leaves or the petals of course you have picture a map used for the uh, leaves and you can here change the map by pressing this button new leaf or petal map You can load a color map 
by pressing this button and you can load alpha picture for that same uh, leaves all right so this image is loaded and this is the alpha picture for that image as you can see the alpha picture is removing this a green color around the leaves and leaving only this a small stick with the leaves and removing the other parts of course uh, you should understand how to create this type of images using 2d programs like photoshop by importing a leaf image for example creating the same image like this one by organizing all the leaves this way and creating small branch like that and using alpha picture black and white the same image you are using you can use transparency rather than using this green color and this color picture you can use transparency in 2d programs and you can of course change the color of your whole picture color after you save it to black like this to create your alpha picture you can use both here and you will see directly the effect of your alpha and picture in the plant editor of course you can change the length of your leaves you can change the width of them <coughs> and you can add randomness to them flexibility and curl You can add more resolution to your tree or lower the resolution of your tree by pressing one of the buttons here. You can zoom in and out, you can save the tree and you can undo. So it's very very easy editor that you can use to edit your trees. And as you press OK, all the changes you did to this tree will be applied to the new version. and you will directly see it in the window here and you will see also real-time shadows applied to that tree you can add as many as you want and you can add any uh, any kind of species of that tree and you can also edit that trees each one <coughs> to add more variations to your uh, Thank you for joining us in this lesson. It's a very simple lesson because this program is very easy to use and uh, it gives a very powerful results. Thank you for joining us. See you in the next lesson where we will explain another editor. Thank you.